AJVS.com, your worldwide leader of high vacuum equipment. My name is Tim and I'm here at ANJ Vacuum Services and I'm here to talk to you about the Bullseye Precision Gauge. This gauge, this portable gauge is like no other gauge that you've ever seen. This gauge besides having rock solid accuracy, great resolution, and it also has these graphing capabilities that really enable you to take that next level in problem solving and system analysis. The other thing um, that this has is 12 units of measure. So it's not only millitor and millibar, but it's inches of mercury and inches of water. So no matter what you're trying to measure in, bullseye can measure in that. It also has an alarm. So if you want to um, know when you hit a particular vacuum level, say 500 millitor or 200 millitor or even 20 tor, um, it'll let you know. Another thing that makes this very unique is that it has very wide range. Typical thermocouples, they'll start at about one to five microns and they'll go up to uh, 2,000 microns. The bullseye is different. It actually goes all the way up to atmosphere, actually up to 850,000 uh, microns, so uh, actually positive pressure. And why that's important is that allows you to diagnose a lot of other things, like gross leaks. The other uh, advantage of the bullseye is it actually has, uh, it's available with Bluetooth. So if you're troubleshooting a vacuum system leak on one side of your, uh, your system, you can actually look with your cell phone uh, on the other side to see uh, if there's something changed, uh, depending if you um, tighten a fitting or, or, or such. Uh, one of the uh, neatest um, parts of Bullseye is this very, very strong magnet. So this very, very strong magnet can attach to anything metal, and it's strong like hang up your lab coat strong, uh, hang up your overall strong. It's a very strong magnet. So. What we'll do now is we'll talk about the setup that we have so we can actually show you the bullseye at work and how useful it can be. What we have first is the bullseye precision gauge. Uh, that's connected to a Varian uh, 531 uh, uh, equivalent sensor. This is plumbed in via a small vacuum manifold with a bleed valve into a two-stage pump. What I've done for expediency and to keep the pump noise off the camera is I've already evacuated down to about 10 millitor and now we're bleeding up. Now let's look into the bullseye and see what we see. So I'm going to take you through some of the bullseye screens and demonstrate how this is a really useful gauge. This is the large number display. We see the large number at 110 microns. We know it's microns because it actually says the units of uh, measurement on the top right corner. We're going to change the display units to the pump down graph display. So what this shows us is everything. If this display was completely filled, that would be atmospheric pressure. Um, so atmosphere is on top and zero microns, or the range of this is 10 to the negative fourth, is on the bottom. We see that right now we're at 170 microns and we've been stable for one minute and 27 seconds. So here's where it gets interesting. Now what we can do is we can bleed in just a little bit. So, so say, say if we're doing a distillation or we're doing shank lines and we want to see something evaporating off, what we'll see is a little bit of a change as soon as we bleed in a little bit of air. And this is something that you might miss if you have another kind of gauge. Here, we just went up to 10,000 microns. And you can actually see what happened. So before, we're nice and low, and then, and then we just popped up. What it's also telling you is that you've got a leak now. So it tells you that you have a leak and it also tells you what the leak rate is. The next screen that we have is the line graph display. What this does is it automatically defines what the high point and the low point of the graph is based on your time horizon. So if we bleed more, we'll actually see that pop up as well. This really helps you understand. Whereas a typical vacuum gauge just gives you a number, you can see a blip. So the pressure rising uh, briefly and then falling down. You'll see all of these things. Here you can see the actual up and down. Next, what we have is something that if you're diagnosing and you want to look at something across the room, this is the bar graph display. So here, the more bars you have, the more pressure you have. The less bars you have, the less pressure you have. We just turned the vacuum pump on real quick so we saw the pressure actually decrease and now we're bleeding back up. So it gives you more of a visual representation of what's going on. The other nice feature of this is the resolution possibilities. Sometimes it's good to have 
a lot of resolution, sometimes not so much. We've got three resolution modes. We have this low resolution mode, scientific format, and high resolution mode. The nice thing about this is no matter what mode you're in, that is if you're in the big number display, the uh, pump down display, or the graphical display, it'll show you the proper units and it'll show you the scientific notation. One thing that's useful in a portable gauge is to know when you've hit a particular micron level. I just set the set points to 0.5 tor or 500 microns. So if we turn on the pump, you'll see it actually, the device beeps at you and it flashes at you, letting you know that you actually went below that 500 micron range. And it stopped because we went right above it. These are the key graphical features that really make Bullseye Precision Gauge very unique and highly useful tool. For more information, please visit our online store at AJVS.com or give us a call at 1-973-249-0854. You can also email any inquiries to info at AJVS.com. Thanks for watching.